Hello there and welcome to the show. I'm Robin Shuckborough and I'm back again at the great dancing, dancing trousers cookery school. Um, I've had such fun doing little cookery sketches here in the past. We've got ourselves quite a little menu now, but I think today we're going to learn how to make chocolate mousse. And I'm almost more excited about this than I have been about anything else. Come with me. Right, Alexis, it's great to be here again. It Lovely really is. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm, I'm really excited about this because we well, look as though we're going to be dealing with the very delicious sweet stuff. So. Well, I've got a bit of sweet <laughs> tooth. Um, I just yeah. thought it's time we did a delicious dessert. Yeah. And the joy of this particular dessert is, A, I think it's probably the easiest chocolate mousse in the whole world. Right. And B, you can dress it up and make it more exciting, add a little biscuit on the side, do garnish. But yeah. I suspect most people have probably got what this needs in the cupboard. It's got four ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. It's, it's really simple. Yeah, that's what we're after. Right. So, <laughs> should we talk about what we've got? Yes, tell me what So, we've got some really nice uh, dark chocolate. So, that's over 70%. It's not higher than 70%, though, because I think when you get into the 80% cocoa mm. um, chocolates, they can be a little bit bitter, a little bit right. too much. So, 70 will do nicely. Now, I know it looks like I've got a, <laughs> got a big bag of chocolate buttons. Well, it looks exactly like it. I've never seen these okay. anywhere. So, um, how do I? How do I okay. Okay, so the, these are called pistol, and, right. and really they are posh chocolate buttons, but I'll show you for why. Right. It's because my chocolate comes in quite big bags like oh, this. Looks so, like a bag of cat food. Uh, well, I hope it doesn't incredible. taste like that. Um, this is five kilos, and yes, obviously we get through a lot at the cookery school, yeah. and it comes in the form of pistol because when you're working in a professional kitchen or somewhere where you're cooking a lot, you've got no time to break up a block of chocolate or no. chop it up, and no. that means the chocolate will melt more quickly. Well, what about in ordinary sort of right. domestic environment. In civilian life, it's very straightforward. <laughs> what we have, what we're making today, we're using 100 grams of chocolate. 100 grams is about a bar. Right. About a bar of um, green and black, say, which is a very yeah. nice. Other forms of chocolate are available. available. Other makes yes, are available, but this is very nice. So you would yeah. buy one 100 gram bar and just break it up into pieces. Yeah. Don't need to make it any smaller than, than just broken up pieces. We'll be fine. Okay, I mean, it's, it's good to know that because I, I have... In this, you know, tried slicing chocolate before it crumbles. Yeah. It's very and actually it's quite difficult. It's quite process, difficult. So and just it's quite bad for your knife as well because uh, it's a it? very tough thing that you're cutting through and it pings all over the place. So just yeah. breaking it up into the blocks would be fine. Gotcha. Okay. So we are going to work with our 100 grams of chocolate. We have two whole eggs and we're using both part of the eggs, but we're using the yolk and the white separately. Right. We'll come on to that. Yeah, that's going to be fun. We've got 50 millilitres of double cream yeah. and we're also going to add a tablespoon of honey, just uh, ordinary runny honey okay, um, so it's four ingredients and the chances are if you suddenly needed to get a pudding together you might well have those in the cupboard yeah. you might have a bar of chocolate knocking about you probably have a couple yeah. of eggs if you didn't have cream it wouldn't be the end of the world you could add a splash of milk yeah. and just forego the cream so terribly simple so uh, yeah. first things first your first job is that we are going to melt our chocolate right. so I'm going to give you a saucepan mm -hmm. and you're going to put it straight into the saucepan now this seems to go against the rules of cooking which which yeah. say to you that you have to have simmering water and a bowl on top, which you may have come across, which, yes, is, of course. which is the way that you will normally melt chocolate, which if you are only working with chocolate is what you have to do because otherwise the chocolate will seize and go all tarry. Right. That's the funny thing. <laughs> 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 Let me just deal with that for a moment. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me. <laughs> I think it was my phone the last time, didn't it? Okay, back to where we were. There we go. Right, we're right. visiting up to the little phone okay. fracker. Okay, well, you see, people are so keen to come to Dancing Trousers, they don't stop phoning. Of course. So, in this particular case, we're going to add some liquid to the chocolate. Right. So we can actually melt the whole thing in the pan directly on the hob. Okay. But if you were only melting dry chocolate, if you like, you should do it um, over oh. some simmering water in a heat-proof bowl. Is that called a bain -Marie? It is called a bain yeah, Ten points, Robin. Yeah, right. I, I mean, Very good mugging indeed. up. <laughs> okay, so what you are going to add to that is a tablespoon and a half of water, just simple right. water out the tap. So I've got your little bit there. Lovely. So in goes a tablespoon. 
and just judge what half a teaspoon is. It's not mission critical. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll yeah that looks pretty good to me. And now what we're going to add is a tablespoon of honey. And I'm going to show you a nice little trick because, right. as you know, honey, sticky old stuff. Yeah. Um, and it will tend to stick to the to the spoon terribly, mm. as would treacle, Dijon mustard, um, golden syrup, all of those very viscous things. Yeah. So what you do is you get some neutral oil. This is just sunflower oil. Right. You put a little bit of that into the bowl of your spoon. And now I <laughs> hand that to you. You're going to fill the spoon with honey. That is fantastic. Well, we haven't I'm done right, it yet, so let, let's hope it's fantastic. <laughs> That's it. So we want a full tablespoon. Just would never have occurred to me. Nice runny honey. Oh, Oops, no, it's right. oh, won't matter. Won't hard. matter. Bit of extra honey won't matter <coughs> at all. That's it. That'll do you, sir. You right, go. in we go with that lot, and hopefully the magic works. <laughs> there we go. Show it's absolutely the spoon. brilliant. There it's just you go. absolutely amazing. I've See. never have occurred to me to do well, that. Well, it's very good for any of those uh, tomato yeah. puree, any of those really sticky things, and it'll just come and it just comes whizzing completely off. clean. Right, absolutely I'm going to get wonderful. you heating this up. So right. we're going to pop it onto our little hob. Yeah. We're not going to make it too, too, too warm. I'm going to arm you with the spatula, and Thank it's you. all yours. Lovely. And so I and I just watch it until it melts. <laughs> Now the the if you were this is a very sophisticated little thing in which you can set the temperature and stuff. But I if you're, you're talking a, about me, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. No, it's easy. <laughs> this <tonight>. gas, <laughs> well, I would be, of course. This ga, this thing. I mean, if you if it were a gas thing, you're talking about a very low heat. Yeah, a low heat because gentle. you don't want the chocolate to get too hot too quickly because right. there's a chance that it will go rubbly and oily. Um, uh, right. if, you, if you make it too hot, then that is game over if that happens. But, it's, but it's, as you can see, it's already look, melting. Look at that. Already melting. Fantastic and smell too, isn't that oh, delicious? Goodness me. And if you wanted to do a variation on a theme, if you had a jar of um, that lovely stem ginger, yeah. you could use a tablespoon of the syrup from that for a little oh, bit of a right. ginger flavour going okay. through it. So really any, any kind of sweet syrup will do. Now look at that, you're almost there. That's, that's it's just incredible, very, very quickly. Actually. Yeah. This is very and impressive. And what, what you'll end up with is a beautifully glossy mix, which will be lovely and shiny and smooth. Yeah. And at that point, all the work with the hob is done. This is so simple. This is a wonderful yeah, simplicity of this. I like the sound of this. Right. Now, you're going to have me messing around with eggs and trying to separate them. I am going to have you messing around with eggs. I realise that there is going to raise a small problem, but we'll try. I think you're done. So I'm going right. to turn that okay. off because if you leave that on, there'll be wonderful. enough residual heat there yeah. but yes that's exactly what you want so you can see that's nicely smooth no lumps of chocolate left in that that's absolutely yeah. perfect that's so we'll leave that for a moment while you mess about with eggs right <laughs> so here we go you are going to separate into and actually we'll put the shells in there we want right. two yolks in there two whites in there well i don't mind which bowl actually as long as we've right. got two yolks in one the of one them and two whites in the other, other one we're, we're good <laughs> okay so, over to you. What's well, your preferred method? I, I will try with the first one the way I would normally sort okay, of do yeah, it. You go. And uh, see whether or not this comes off. I mean, it's. Um, I think that's Ooh, kind of what done. I would normally do. Nicely done. And I'm not. I, oh, I, I think, that's, I think that's pretty much, isn't it? Yeah, that but will do very nicely. Beautifully done. One down. I have a <laughs> sort of suspicion that there are probably quicker ways of doing this. No, no, I, I, I think that's a really good method because you're very gentle with it. Oops. Well, there you go. Well done. Um, I tend to sometimes put them through my hand. Oh, yes, I, was... I can be a bit cat candid. You're 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 very good. That's fine. <laughs> no problem with that at all. Beautifully done. Voila. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Okay. Great stuff. There we go. That is yes. Is that through the fingers thing that? Yes, it's, uh, but, but it actually but makes it your doesn't... hands very messy. So let's yeah. just, just kitchen roll. Oh, thanks. Let's wipe up. There we go. Thank you very much. Perfect. Okay. So. All we've now got to do is combine our ingredients. Um, so the first thing that I think we'll get you to do is we'll get this nicely smooth chocolate into our mixing bowl so you can decant right. all of that into the into the bowl. Into the bowl, okay. Doesn't it look wonderful? It'll look even more wonderful shortly. So. <laughs> so that's just our chocolate our mm. tablespoon and a half of water and our tablespoon of honey. Right. right. Now, if I was mean, I would now make you whisk your egg whites by hand, but right. I'm not mean. I'm going to let you use the machine. Okay. So, over <laughs> here, we have got 
large glass, very clean glass bowl because right. what you may know about egg whites is if there's any grease mm -hmm. associated with them, which is why you shouldn't get the yolk in, if there's any grease they won't really whip up properly, uh, right, okay. um, which is why we're very careful not to get the yolk in because the yolk is full of fat. But yeah, those look very good, you did an excellent job there. Right. So we're going to whip them until they are soft peaks only. We don't want to go too firm with them because they become a bit dry. Right. So here is the trusty electric beater. It's that one there. I think first speed will be fine yes, and okay. away you go. And I just... Yep, in you go. That's it. And because the eggs were at room temperature, it shouldn't take very long. It will always take longer if your, your eggs have come out of a fridge. Right. You shouldn't really keep your eggs in the fridge anyway. No, I, 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 I was sort of vaguely thought it was good. Just yes, um, pick it up one more. No, pick it oh, up yeah, one I'm, more. That's it, there I'm we right. go, that's it. Don't well, take but a moment. That's it, we keep moving the beaters around in the bowl just to gather all the egg whites in. Doing that, I'm going to scrape the rest of the chocolate out and left a bit in there. Did I? Oh, that's terrible wastage. Can't have that. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. 30 seconds more. 30 seconds will do it. You're on full speed. You're on full speed. There you go. That's it. So right, that's okay. soft, soft peaks. Yeah. That's exactly what we want. I'm with you. Um, because otherwise it'll start to become a little bit dry. Perfect. Your work here is done, so you can sit that on its, on its bottom, and it'll right. just. So, you happy? Oh no, that went, you. This is the wrong way. Wrong <laughs> like end. that. How about like that? <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's. It's turn. too early in the morning, guys. <laughs> right. Okay. So there is our lovely chocolate mix. You've got your egg whites. Right. Those down there. Yeah. Right. So, the first thing you are going to add are your two egg yolks into your chocolate Into the chocolate, yep. right, okay. Which is not so hot that anything bad will happen. It has cooled down sufficiently. And right. this adds a lovely richness. And that, if it was too hot, it would scramble the egg and it, that it would be... Yes, okay. would scramble the egg that would not be a good result. I see. But it is worth bearing in mind that this does have uncooked yolks in it. So yeah. you would need to be careful not to give this to anybody who is anxious about eating a, a, a raw egg because that yolk has not been cooked. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. But it does add a lo lovely richness to it. Yeah. So there we go. And once that's incorporated, you keep stirring. I'm going to add in your double cream. Right. So there we go. You keep stirring. And this is all to do by hand. This is not a thing that we would use the machine for at this stage because it's a small quantity. Yeah. So it would make more washing up and you will do it very easily by hand. By hand. There's no strain on no, this. No, no, it's, it's a it's nice not soft more. mix. Yeah. And this just, again, makes the mixture a little bit lighter and just makes it luxurious rather than incredibly strong chocolate. Yeah. If you didn't have any cream, as I say, a little splash of milk, instead right. not quite the same quantity you know a couple of tablespoons of milk would do a good job now right. look what's okay. happened yes, it's, it's gone glossy. from looking a bit unprepossessing yeah. to that beautiful glossy look it is amazing isn't actually. it lovely it's yeah. that metamorphosis that happens yeah. and now suddenly we've got that beautiful glossy chocolate mix absolutely wonderful there's me saying waste not want right. a bit left in there so it is a clean finger. I'm going to scoop it out with my finger. There we go. Right. right. That's it. Okay, done. Absolutely wonderful. Now, the last part, and really the only bit that requires a tiny element of skill, is you're right. now going to fold your egg whites in. So there they are, nice right. and soft. So what I would do, Robin, is take a little bit out of the bowl and just mix it through fairly roughly to loosen this mixture. Right. So just, yes, use do the I same use this? Yes, it's, it's all going, it's all going in together. Yes, so yeah. take a little bit out, that's perfect. Like that. And just reasonably roughly incorporate that. 
Derek the cat, thank you for your input. Yes, well, he's, um, I'm not surprised, Derek, is looking, <laughs> looking with interest at this stuff. Right, that'll do you nicely. Right. Now, all the rest of it is going to go in, but you're going to be much more careful now and just fold it through carefully. Right, so OK. So you can scoop all the rest of that egg white in. All at once. Yeah, all the white. And then Let's fold go it in. There we okay. go. And then we just, that's it, exactly so. so cut like through that. the middle and go round. Exactly, that's perfect. There we go. Yeah, so it. at this stage we're combining it, but we're trying not to knock too much of the air out of it to keep that nice mousse. So it's the air in the egg whites that you're yes, trying to yeah, retain. Yeah, just trying to maintain a little bit of it to make a, yes, a, nice, a nice light moussey mixture when it sets. Yeah. That's it, looking good. And yet it has to be fully incorporated. It so does, it's actually, it's, yeah. So that's quite a trick, isn't it, really? Yeah, no, you're doing beautifully. And this... We, we've worked with 100 grams of chocolate, 50 mm. grams of double cream, tablespoon and a half of water, a tablespoon of honey and two eggs. Mm, yeah. Now, really, this will make two very generous portions of mousse, or you could make three perfectly good portions of right, mousse. Okay. That's how much you like chocolate mousse. Yes, absolutely. That's it, you're virtually there. So get right down to the bottom for me, Robin, that's it. Because can you see, oh, we've still got, yeah, there's yeah. still chocolate that hasn't quite yeah. got incorporated there. That's it. That's interesting. And scoop right. The, the joy of these silicon spatulas is that you can bend it right round. That's yeah. it. You're virtually there now, I think. I still haven't been out and got my pastry scraper that you keep telling me to go and get. Oh, I've done, well, I, I shall provide a pastry scraper. <laughs> I think we can, we can do that for you. That's I like it. it. I think you're there, there you sir. Go. That looks lovely. So now we're going to put it into two pretty little dessert glasses. Right. Now, what I would recommend is using a spoon and just gently putting spoonfuls in and do a couple in this one, a couple in that one, and then back to the original one. Yes, OK. So if I take this away from you and do then... You want to scrape that in now? Yes, why not? Scrape that. Down, I'm just and then keeping to your philosophy of never wasting quite a single right drop. Quite right, he's learned well. <laughs> Very good. That's it. Right. Beautiful. Right. Thanks, I'll take probably. that away. <clears throat> So just a spoonful at a time, yeah. and the and idea being is to keep it as neat and Yes, try possible. not to dribble it all down the sides. You know, it's not the end of the world. It's just, no, as I always say, you eat with your eyes first. You want something to look pretty, don't you? Yes, you, you do. I, I, oops. No, nope, you're doing okay. very well. And it will find its own level because it's a nice soft mixture, so you right. don't have to worry about flattening the top. Okay, so I shall doing stop doing that. that. I see. Yes, okay. it, will, it will just nicely find its own level. Okay. And if you see a little bit of egg white as you go along, it doesn't matter at all. Really doesn't matter if there's a little bit that hasn't got fully incorporated. Yeah. It matters not. It just makes a nice sort of aero style bit in the middle of it. Oh, I see. yes, because it's because it's more airier than yes, the rest. Yes, that's, that's all. So this is looking very good. I see. Lovely stuff. Well, I see what you mean by generous portions. Yes, this is I, am, be, um... I am <laughs> being extremely <laughs> generous with these. They're very, yeah. they're very big portions. But as I say, it will quite easily stretch to three. Yeah. Um, Yes, it certainly would. Mm. I'm just, um, I'm being rather laborious over this. No, I no, can see the one this could is be looking quicker, good. But no, that's looking good. You've done it beautifully, though, because you haven't slopped any down the side. That's I think that one's plan. probably, that's probably as much as that one needs now. That's yeah, great. I think it's probably as much as anybody would want to. Indeed. And uh, what we'll do is we'll save the rest and put that in a third glass. So right, that is go. spot on. They look beautiful. They now, do. they will take a little while to set, but not ages. They will probably take more than no more than maybe half an hour to 40 right. minutes to set. So I'm going to take them away. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, because we did one earlier, You've we can show you the final <laughs> result. So I'm okay. going off with these to the fridge. This is brilliant. Well, now, that really was simple. I can tell you that was really straightforward. I'm, I'm astonished. Um, and I'm rather looking forward to tasting it. We'll do that in a minute or two. Oh, right. look. Here's the one that was made earlier. So... I see, we'll and it's gone away. really quite, um, quite sort of, not solid yes, exactly, so, but, but Yes, firm. so that's set. That's yeah. nicely, nicely mm. firm now. Um, I've garnished it very simply with just a raspberry Beautiful on the raspberry. side. And as I say, you can serve it with a little shortbread biscuit or a twill or whatever yeah. takes your fancy. Would you like to tuck in? I would absolutely love right. to because I think that looks marvellous. <laughs> I'm going to, I think what I better reassure everybody that I'm actually going to taste the one I've just made afterwards because yes. otherwise I can, it's, very, it's all very well for me telling <laughs> you that Alexis no. is lovely, chocolate mousse is lovely. But, I promise you it'll be but, the same, uh, you've done exactly the same. <laughs> so nice right. texture that inside. That is perfect we'll texture, it's lovely, lovely, airy Lovely texture. and airy. Mmm. Oh, and it's well, rich, but it's not cloying, because some chocolate mousse can be a bit, oh, but that yeah. should be nice and airy and light. With it's you. absolutely perfect. It's, got, it's exactly the right level of 
strength of flavour as well as, yeah. and the, as that airiness as well. And, I, goodness I, me, Alexis, and as I said, you could actually make them in smaller containers. You could make them in little white ramekin dishes, yeah. which would look very pretty. Yeah. Uh, and as I say, this quantity makes two extremely generous portions or three perfectly adequate. Yeah. Okay. And actually, glass is a nice thing to display this sort of thing in, 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 in any way because it looks sort of rather neat and beautiful. And yes. you can see the inside of it. Yeah, no, it, it does. Mm. There we go. That is spectacular. Well done. <laughs> Thank you very much. I mean, it's great. We've yeah. now got a, almost so a full menu we've done. Indeed, this, this you could certainly wonderful. have somebody around and entertain yeah. you with your, with your cookery skills that you've got, definitely. Well, once again, Alexis, thank you very much indeed, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next month. Lovely, see you then. Take care. <laughs> well, that really was fun, and I have to tell you, it was delicious. I, I hope that came over because it was so good that uh, I'm clearly going to have to go home and make another one all over again. Now, don't forget uh, to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to be kept up to date with what we're up to. Of course, you can con con connect with us on Twitter at Cotswold Explore. You can find our website, thecotswoldexplorer.co.uk, or find us on Facebook. We look forward to seeing you next month.